Hold go on. back to record. So I, yeah, I, I canceled the recording. Um, so this will be <laughs> fun to kind of put all this back together. But you know what? That means this will be a separate when you upload it to wherever. This will just be a separate extra yes. for this episode. Yes. I I have it. I just can't. You know. <laughs> Stop is recording. it going to be on one system. file? Are you merging them together or are we going to do two uploads? I think you should do two uploads. Here's the After episode and then in, okay. here is the extras. Ooh. Maybe you should separate out the extras and we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Like, you guys tell us what if else? you like, just we'll do the e extras. Maybe. <laughs> you know what I used to do? Speaking of that, you know what I used to do? And I've gotten away from it because I got away from editing. When when I first like really hit my stride with YouTube and I then I had to Google and YouTube <laughs> how to edit because I never edited. I just recorded and then uploaded what I recorded because I was like, I don't I've know never how to edited edit. either. <laughs> I don't know how to edit, right? No. Nope. I figured I couldn't do it. But then I discovered there was this iMovie on my phone that was already free. That's a, and so I learned iMovie by YouTubing how to how to use iMovie and how to edit. <laughs> and so once I learned how to do that for I think it was probably about a year or so, I did a lot of my record because that's when Madison was little, right? And she was literally crawling all over my back. And, you know, it was a whole thing. You said a couple of like, times that she was it. even like in her, oh, in yeah, her uh, was... birth suit, jumping around. Good and... Lord. <laughs> But I would actually, I would edit that stuff out. So I would have a good content video, right? Of whatever I was talking about or training on or whatever. And then I would do the bloopers at the end. And I would throw in those pieces that would literally like be on the editing room floor that I would, you know, where I'm like, medicine. <laughs> and yeah, so I would throw in the bloopers reel. That well, was one I thing I do a bloopers reel of me voice recording when I do reels on Facebook. <laughs> and I, I was like... Yeah, you okay? Sure. So, like, are you only on your phone, or do you also have like an iPad or laptop or me? Yes, you. I have iPad. Okay, yeah. so what you should do is the next time you do a reel, you should record from the other one you're not doing the reel on. So that way, whenever you mess up, oh, I think record me doing a reel. Yes, on of how you mess up. Yes. I think, and Jackie, I think you should do that too because I know okay. you have your iPad, your Mac and your phone and between the yeah. three of the, you could have like three different angles of what the hell's going on. Who wants three different angles of this hot mess? I do, I do, I watch do. it. <laughs> you should see my TikToks, those get ridiculous. <laughs> well, and see, I use, um, so on my computer, so we I download everything and then when I go to edit, it is just something that is on my PC um and now i'm trying to think of what it is yeah because your pc like i'm mac all the way so i've got apple yeah. everything so it, luckily uh, i have iMovie for that but i also use cap cut i did Cap-Cut it's, is it's called clip champ it's microsoft's clip champ and it oh, i get to i take whatever squares i have of the videos and i drop them in there and mm -hmm. i can edit i can merge i can cut and shuffle Oh, we'll see. That's um, like so is it easier to edit that than it is to edit a bit. You know how when you go into, well, Texas won't know because she does an iPhone. But you know how when you go in and you edit a, a video in in I our movie. library, Jackie? Like oh, you yeah. move that little, that little bar yes. or whatever. Yes. But then you can't hear it at the same time you're moving it. Like, is it easier to edit videos in those other things, like in the iMovies or what? Uh, what iMovie is super about? easy. Is it, yeah, okay. iMovie is Maybe super easy there. and it's free. It's already on your phone. I it's have, yeah, I do iPad. have it. Yeah, but I but it's you can do so it hard. to where you can. Yeah, you can, and it's basically the same thing, right? You're just clipping and clipping, but you'll still be able to hit play, and then you'll hear the audio. So you know, sometimes it might take me a minute to figure out where am I ending this, right? Yeah. So I get it on the right word before I was like, Ooh, what the fuck was I just saying? Yeah, and then, what if you wanted to drop something else in there though? Yes, I don't have. Can you? Yeah. You cannot do that from our our album right only from i studio or yeah, whatever well that. from iMovie it will pull anything that you've got saved in your files or folder or photos and you know all the videos anything that you've got on there it'll pull and you could drop it in a clip yeah. somewhere see oh, yeah. that's what i've always wondered yeah. how people do that drop in oh. thing so you I could have easily to have a whole so training session we might yeah. have to because that way i can also do the android part because on my yes. phone as well yeah. i can do um i can zoom in so i can make the video longer so then instead of it showing like one minute increments it can show down to 30 seconds to 10 seconds to five mm -hmm. seconds so it'll go slow and i can try and cut because i forget to breathe and if i mess up and i have to cut it i have to catch me on my like breathing in i'm like oh stop right there because this is so funny because <laughs> some of my transitions look like this 
<laughs> like, <laughs> you know, it's funny. So, but yeah, it's, um, it, it, we do need to do maybe a training on different, um, different ways that we can edit our clip reels uh -huh. clips um uh -huh. with this we do i do this one on youtube and then um again i can merge it together but since you have iMovie, you can drop this part and the other part in and just put a transition yeah because i just started right back and was like oh uh by the way i didn't mean to stop it yeah It'll, I was normally I normally do this like we're done and then go on and I <laughs> like it's a habit I record all my trainings on Zoom so I'm it's a habit of whenever I'm done I stop and smile and then I click <laughs> I do because so I want the ending photo? picture to yeah. be me going <laughs> I know better I'm than done. the live stills on Facebook like what are up with those no thank you anything what, beats like, those yes it always catches you in the most un unflattering yes. like oh, are you talking about the thumbnail like, what is yes, that on, like yeah. facebook live yes it's terrible and it's with everybody did, i thought it was did you know you can pick your it, own like, no, thumbnails you can pick your own thumbnails for live videos how how oh what how um you how? go back yeah how so on facebook you mm -hmm. can edit a live you can go back to the live and you can select your own now, maybe it's just Android. I don't know, but you can select. Oh, whatever. I don't know if it's, I don't have an iPhone, but I'm telling you, I'm we able know. to go back to a live and I can do edit and I can pick the thumbnail. And I always try to find one that I'm not like going, you know, have this really weird face and, you know, or I've done this and all of a sudden this is my thumbnail. Like, <laughs> <I know. laughs> I'm going to have to go back on some of my old ones and just see if I can mess with it. Cause I don't think I've ever seen that, but then I don't really know what I'm doing with any of it. So like I, I just do the basic and then post. Done. We need like, a whole hour training they... with yeah. Lisa on her phone, on yes. whatever she brings and show her the little tidbits of, of technology. I want to know why the whole AI fix feature can't fix that. Like we shouldn't have to be doing that with all no, the AI crap. Yes, no, but just the I should know I don't want to look like that. Right. Not Who what does? I like. <laughs> well, Obviously. you know, I use a lot of chat GPT and it has gotten a new upgrade and it now remembers. Oh. So every new chat thing I open, it remembers my settings from everything else. So oh. I, yeah, I haven't even messed with that. Like, oh, I don't know much about AI, that. I it like, OK, I know you have this a magical mind that can create these amazing posts. magical i am only with fall fragrance horrible <laughs> help with the other one i'm horrible so i put in a chat gpt i copy and paste like the descriptions of this or even like for mm -hmm. the warehouse sale for tomorrow i copy and pasted that in there and i said put a little bit of texas twang on here and <laughs> i and modify this for a facebook post and it changed it enough because everybody else is copying and pasting it, right? Tomorrow, yeah, yeah. two o'clock, yep. or yeah. you know, whatever Central Time or Pacific Time, and you know, and they did that. We're dusting off the shelves. Well, mine changed up a little bit. It wasn't a whole bunch, but it was enough that it's not going to be copied. It's not copied from fifteen thousand other consultants. Yeah, yes. Not a hair spokesman. So I don't think people mm. realize how bad that messes with your algorithm. It does. When you all share the same thing, it like, looks like I've spam. Had, it starts yeah, marking it I've as spam. I've had so many people be like, "Well, why you don't want us to take things off your wall? Like you don't want to share?" And I'm like, "I share constantly. Like mm. it has nothing to do with wanting to share. It has to do with algorithm. Like I don't want to be spam. And okay. no, your customers so, want to hear from you, not my mm -hmm. meowing. Like so no, if I everybody you to who that. follows Lisa wants to use her information. Put it into AI and say, change this and add some and take all the cat's yeah. hands out and change it because she does have, and I've done that many times, but you can't tell because I'll may say, make it shorter and funny yeah. or with a Texas twang, but take all cat um, references out and yeah. I will do that. Or if I know I'm going to send something to Lisa because I try to come up with some really cool cat puns, I'm like, give me some cool cat puns about this. So that mm -hmm. way I can amaze her when I'm all like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's like, that's awesome. I'm like, woohoo. I mean, cat GBT is what I use. <laughs> but it, yeah, people don't get it's not that I don't want you to use my stuff. You I share everything for you to use my stuff. It's because I don't want my algorithm and yours yeah. 
lower. It's going to lower yours too. Like it's not just a, a selfish me thing. Like, well, and, and with all the preaching about authenticity, Facebook yeah. is updating something. Yeah. I want to be authentic, meaning that no, I don't want my same posts other than the ones I share to be used, obviously. Right. On everyone's wall. Like I say to meow. I don't want you to say to meow. You say tomorrow <laughs> or something else. She's like, I'm copywriting all cat puns and everything with a meow in it. <laughs> well, if you, know, you ever see a meow, meow in mine, you'll that. know. This was definitely yeah. not something Jackie wrote. Yeah. And Facebook <laughs> is really no starting that. to update That's with their example. with their AI. You can type in a post and at the bottom there is an AI saying, Would you like to modify or mm -hmm. like uh, adapt this even and, on gmail like the g my gmail does that now and it'll it say is. do you want a ai to rewrite this or whatever and i'm like yeah sometimes i'm like yes because i thought it <laughs> sounded good but really it doesn't sound that great so do something <laughs> ai is coming in it is just a virtual yeah. assistant and it really for any kind of person who's doing direct sales or especially with cincy you do not have to copy and paste the ssd's post you can change mm -hmm. it and make it your own. And if you're like me, who I'm a duplicator, not a creator, is you go through and you find tools to help you change up the wording. And that way you aren't that copy and paster that you've just copy and pasted their stupid link and you're sharing out your, mm -hmm. I mean, granted, I bet you they love it because they'll get sales from it, but I don't want you sharing my, I mean, I don't even put my link in my thing. They Everybody knows like it's in my profile. I leave it alone. I don't want to yeah. get, flagged by Facebook because it's not you know what what I've been doing if you want to put your link in it it won't be a party link of course it will, so that isn't an option but if you train them you know to choose a party at the end it doesn't matter but I use the um you know the font changing app yeah mm -hmm. so it's not clickable but it will say waxycats.com right there in the body of the post and it's in a different font so one, my website is more noticeable than anything else on that post because it's bold or it's italic or it's whatever I decided mm -hmm. to choose from it. It does not hyperlink it, which is good because Facebook doesn't flag it. Right. But they have your info right there. So if right. you want to put it in there for people who might not know that it's in your bio or whatever. So when people say it's in my bio, that confuses me. Even though I know where your bio is, I know there's a ton of other stuff in your bio and I'm just looking at a whole bunch of stuff and I'm like, well, forget it. And that link in bio term will also flag at some yes. point too because Probably, Facebook yes. specifically yeah. I just don't, starts like, to see that. Kind yeah. of like what you said, I've taught all of my customers to always pick a party. I don't yeah. even tell, I don't even do party links anymore. I have saved in my phone. It was something that I saw Melissa Gratz do a long time ago. I have shortcuts to all the links in my, all categories in my phone. So if we know, oh, that's a great oh, idea. Oh, so yeah, I put, idea. so clearance, I have a, to the exact clearance tab, I have it CL. Click it, copy, paste it, send it. And so mm -hmm. it copy and paste the whole link for me. So I don't have to type it all out. Now you were talking about waxycats.com maybe for the people who are listening still, um, how do you, I mean, if it goes to your Cincy page, how do you, like, how did you do that? Like, um, I use GoDaddy, GoDaddy, which that's also there's the GoDaddy too. Studios, which is like Canva, yep, which that's I also what I don't use know too. how to do, yeah. but it's there. Yeah, so I use GoDaddy. I bought the domain is mm -hmm. all it is. And you know what? It, I always got scared because I was like, oh, this is going to be a super expensive. It's like $15 no. for a year. And you really yeah, need it every I, well, year. My first year was, I think my first year was like a dollar or a penny. Yeah, that's how I got, really, got in on it too. Yeah. Oh, and, so, now, and so I need to start watching to see when you don't pay for it so I can steal it and then charge you for more. Yeah. <laughs> yes yes you there are it'll say on there how much your website is worth and yes. if people want to sell mm -hmm. it they'll reach or mm -hmm. buy it they'll reach out to you and ask you and, and I like, just have mine no amount of money. get off my site <laughs> yeah mine is now the jackie but it redirects to my sensi website yeah right and you can have it redirect to a party link every time like you can have it redirect to your uh online order link that's too much for me to remember that's to do. too much for me too <laughs> I, if, if, i was going to say for the people the who are technically challenged and for lisa to be like you can my change site. it <laughs> yeah yeah that's too much well plus i do a lot of bulk orders for locals and a lot of my other customers have their own shopping link so they already mm -hmm. know to choose theirs right um if it's a random pws order where they got me off the zip code i don't think it asks them for a party yeah it at does. that point because they're not coming here they they know they came just looking for a consultant 
So I don't think it gives them that option to choose a party. I think it does, they, does at the checkout. No matter I what. I didn't on Cincy.com orders. Okay. Ooh. So, oh, well, on my Cincy.com, because I ha I went through one. I wanted to see what it did for other customers. So I went mm -hmm. to Cincy.com. I put my zip code in, and which is so funny because I'm like the only consultant in the uh, almost a 20-mile radius who's on the website. Through zip code. Oh. Just FYI, because if your leader hire, you're seen. And that's why yeah. I make sure I make my 500 every month just for that. But I um, I went through there. It still gave me an option for a party, but I didn't log into my account. Like I went all the way to the end before I paid. And it is one of then those. Might. I haven't went through it. Someone just told me it doesn't ask them because the way the, the system knows it got to you knows it's not part of a party. Or they oh, wouldn't have used your zip. Oh. So mm. by name now, name, I don't know. I've just heard zip, but I've never tried it. Maybe but I need to try it again. It's been a long time. You, huh? I said, it's been a long time since I did that. Uh, yeah, because I, I, I want to see what that. customers, like if they could find me. So I went to Cincy.com, like find consultant, put my zip code in. Because I also wanted to know, again, I didn't have a great um relationship with my upline so i was trying to find also other consultants and i would go on their page and i would look mm -hmm. to see if they're a a lead a, a star uh, consultant um star directors directors mm -hmm. i just wanted to see who was around me and i don't have anybody close in my little i mean i'm in a little town but we had three consultants in canada at one time but we do not have a lot that are doing their business so yeah Enough yeah. to be on the zip code. Locator, yeah. So they're right. not, yeah. they're not getting yeah. paid at lead or they're not getting, um, or they're not at lead title yet. So that's one thing that I try to preach to all of my new consultants is that your get first to goal lead. is to get yeah. to lead because yeah. I, I could probably run a whole report and show you all the different orders that I got that are just because I am closest to them. Or yeah. also I have stars mm -hmm. because you know, I'm a star. Yeah. I'm, I'm five stars. stars. I'm five, I have, I'm five stars. I wanted to hearts. put cats. <laughs> Are you hearts? I have, I'm, I'm black I'm hearts. Stars. Oh, your hearts? I, I'm she's black hearts. hearts. Yeah. yeah, she's hearts, black yeah. hearts. <laughs> she and can we just a whole bunch of people something? like, she's five black hearts. Like, what is that? <laughs> what is it? <laughs> Cause it so, makes it stand out. <laughs> for the consultants that will watch or hear this, can we please start understanding why you have to be lead or above to be on that locator okay mm. like every time i hear people say it's not fair it's not fair it's not fair well first of all oh it's not fair because i pay for the website one you pay for the website to have an active website you don't pay for them to put you out into marketing like right. that that's not what you pay for so you are getting what you pay for two the we all started out off of the website and we got ourselves on the website so we didn't start out on the website and that's why we're on the website. We started out off the website, just like you. So yeah. you can work your way on there just like we did. Three, when customers are looking by zip, that means they do not have a consultant. They do not know somebody. Since he wants to attach them to someone who is Actively fully doing working. this business as an active consultant, because they want that customer to have good customer care. And, get and I know care say, of. but I sell $2,000 a month. I should be on it. No, because this is network marketing. This is the MLM structure, which means we are two parts sponsoring and team in order to get the benefits to be entitled to the benefits. Yeah. You must do the entire business. That is why it is not there. It's not a, you don't do enough just by selling. No, that's not the thing. Yeah. But what if a customer wants to join? They want to send them to somebody who wants a team for one. Yeah. Right. Like it. So I hear that so often and I'm like, oh, it just grinds my gear so much because I'm like, th that's complete entitlement. Like you're not entitled to just be there. Like well, that's it's, not it's what the whole thing is that you, you know, people talk about saturation and I laugh at that because I Me am in a too. small town. Mm -hmm. I had one of the girls that signed up on my team. She had been buying Cincy from someone down in Houston where she used to live. And when she, when she wanted to sign up, she wanted to find someone local. She found me and we talked. She's been on Facebook almost as long as I have, like from 2009. So we've been on there a long time. 
she's lived here in this town for six years and we had zero Never friends oh. in common. Zero friends. And I grew up on South side of Fort Worth. So it's like a couple of towns over. And so I have a lot of friends everywhere, but we had zero friends in common. And when she was like, well, I'm worried because you're, I'm, I was, I could walk to her house five minutes. She's mm-hmm. just across the little business highway over here. And she was like, well, I will, are we both going to be able to sell? And I said, look at your Facebook and look at mine. I said, the people that you know, I don't know. I said, so yeah. you have all of your friends. We don't have like 80,000 mutual friends. We didn't have a single one until after her and I started connecting. And then we found like two other people that we did know. We just, you know, we weren't friends with on Facebook kind of thing. Um, and talk- people don't realize that some people will buy from you because you're you and they'll buy from her because she's her. It doesn't yep. really matter. And that's why I try to tell people like when they do parties and they didn't have a successful party. Your friends might buy from you when you are the consultant. Yeah, I don't attend other parties. Like I, I don't go to parties. I don't shop mm-hmm. from parties. I buy from my friends if they sell something that I like. Yep. But if you invite me to a party, I'm going to decline it. One because I don't do that to people all the time. So I don't. I don't. I don't like that. Well, but, and we want to support each other. And so yes. I don't want to support someone else's business. I mean, I understand you want to get free stuff, but I'm yeah. like. I didn't, I don't like trading parties. I don't like doing other parties. I don't do any of that. I don't. And since we're on the subject, if you are a Cincy consultant, do not send me a party link for another company. It's actually out of compliance to do so, not to be the compliance police. I know, but I I cringe and I will unfriend you. I don't care who you are. Me too. I will unfriend you because I am in this, I am in this business as a business. Mm-hmm. I am not going to invite my friends that I have met through Cincy to help anybody else yep. on their business. Only be now, if it was something that we all needed, like we've done a yeah. t-shirt party and we got some like some great t-shirts, like that's something different. But I, you know, I'm not going to start listing the other ones. But like, I don't want. I don't want to spam my friends and family right. with other businesses either. And I'm not going to buy from you so that you buy from me. Because yeah. if that's the case and I need some. I might as well just buy for myself. I Exactly. Because I know I like what I sell. I'm not order swapping. I'm not party swapping. I'm not join for join. No, I am Cincy. This is what I do. You right. are whatever you are. And if I need something from you, I'll buy it. But if you buy from me, I want you to buy from me because you wanted it. Not because you felt right. like you had to buy something. Obligation. Like, I don't want yeah. an all, but like, I tell my no. friends when they're like, I just, I don't have space for it. And I said, that's fine. I was like, yeah. I'm not trying to like obligate you into purchasing Cincy a hundred dollars every single month. That's not what I'm asking. I'm like, if you have a place that you need to get fragrance up and you've told me that your dogs are smelling, I was like, we have stuff for it. If you're ready to not buy from the box stores and you want to get something that would actually support somebody, mm-hmm. I'm there for you. But until you're ready that's cool. You do you boo. Like I'm not going to be upset if you go to one of those box stores and buy some other fragrance, because I know sooner or later, you're going to come back to me I, all yeah. the time. They're like, I haven't bought from you in a year because I, I got some of the cheap stuff and I can't do it anymore because I'm, I'm going through bars and bars and bars when it only took me one to last me a month. And now it's like, I'm buying six or seven of them. I mean, yeah. and I don't push them. I, you know, the people who buy from me, they get a text. If they, it's been a while, they get a text from me about twice a year when catalogs change, no matter if they purchase from me or not in the last six months, because I know people think, oh, it's just cheaper to grab it while you're out shopping. You're right. Yeah. It, it is yeah. It is convenient, but it's not going to work. And it's, mm-hmm. it's not going to yeah. bring up what you need. And if you're using the wrong stuff, I have... I love my friends, but you know what? When they sit there and tell me, well, yeah, I, that wax fire got for me, I put in my car so it would smell better. And I'm like, that is not what that's for. Like, <laughs> I, that is not, I know we're in Texas and literally it will melt and it will warm, but that scent has no other place to go but sit in your car. And that oh. is nauseating having some of these really strong scents that that's all you can smell. And don't yeah. ever put a fragrance flower in the car and think that's going to help too because those oils, in a concentrated area being heated are not good to breathe in like that. I've had 
Like there's a whole bunch and of it should almost do a whole car, series on no no in your interior. Yeah. That's <laughs> what I worry about. It's not because I know all of our stuff is safe to breathe. So I don't care about that, but I do care if it touches something that's not supposed mm -hmm. to. Or, and I'll tell you, I have thought about doing the salt and pepper wax shaker thing. I have, you know, how yeah. like fragrance obsessed I am. I have yep. thought about doing it with little holes and mm -hmm. putting the wax in the jar. And it was 116 here Saturday. So I would add some great fragrance, but what if it spills? Like that's exactly. be such a it, mess. Like it's, it's just a mess to clean up. And if you put it underneath of your seat, like most people do, they say, put it underneath of your seat. That's fine, but if it spills over, it's not like you can easily take that out. You're gonna have to take out no. your seat to scrape that stuff off. Yeah, and we enough. have so many other products that can be used and that are meant to be used in the car. Like if you're mm -hmm. really not wanting something hanging down and you don't want to do the fan because it uses your only plug, we have this the, the scent packs. I mean, there's other to go. I use the scent to go yeah. in my car most of the time. Yeah. Cause like my car is a mess. So like I don't have anywhere nice like to set my little <laughs> little fan it'll fall over it'll get crap on it i don't know my i've got a mess, travel so twist I in my car right now in a tra what? see yeah i've got a travel twist in my car right now i just put the sensi go in the cup holder on top of whatever else is in the cup holder <laughs> down in there and then we're good everything smells fine i can't even imagine what your car looks like after you it looks like that. about three homeless people and a cat live in it but oh it my smells God. like you know, three homeless people and a cat, except for Hessensi, though. <laughs> no, it, it smells way better. It smells like the Ritz in there, but it definitely <laughs> looks like, you know. You know, that is so funny because, see, I, I'm very particular about my car. Like, oh, my I kids. Understand. So my mom would always allow the kids to eat in her car, and she gets so upset because there was melted crayons back there, and there was chips or or um, french fries from McDonald's, because, you know, she always had mm -hmm. McDonald's money I for the hero. kids, never for me. Yeah. <laughs> um, but, my hero. like, I am very <laughs> particular. Like, I don't want people <laughs> eating in my car unless it's, like, an emergency. Like, we are driving somewhere, and we really have to stop and eat, then you make sure you don't make a mess. Because, mm -hmm. I, and I... I don't vacuum it all the time, but I used to get it detailed. Um, I don't even know when I've ever vacuumed it. <laughs> <laughs> well, but it's my, like, this is my first car that I've ever bought brand new and paid off. And for me, that is like the biggest accomplishment because I, I always bought used cars. My dad always yeah. had them through his workplace, you know, $2,000 car. No, I mean, now it'd be like a $20,000 car, but they were $2,000 right. cars. Yeah you know, 2,500, 1,500, they were just to get me back and forth. So for me, it's like, as an adult, this is like my first adult car. I bought brand new and paid it off. And it took me almost eight years because of COVID oh, and they allowed us some yeah. leeway there. Thank God for Cincy though. I'm telling you what, that's the only no reason joke. I got to keep my car. That was my car. I really need a new chair. Yeah. Yeah, I do. <laughs> and so, well, um, I think we should go ahead and round it off, but this was our little yeah. extra. So again, um, you know, this is just, a, this is what we do. We, we get together and the stories come and all of the examples and the fun stuff that we do. Um, our lives are so not perfect and we are sharing this no. with you guys. Just know that Cincy life is, it is, it's a lifestyle. It's, you find friends. And it's a happy place to go when your car is a mess. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> and it, yes, it, it can be messy, but it can still smell like the Ritz, you know, per yes. Lisa Waxy Cat. Mm -hmm. So that this is our little extras. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed listening to our tidbits and uh, join us next week because we'll be in Orlando, Florida. Yes. We'll be, doing, uh, we'll be seeing each other face to face and doing some little excerpts from there and maybe telling you guys all the stuff that we've learned and stuff we want to do in our business. Ooh, we could do a little sneak peeks. Oh, we could talk yeah. about, yeah, we could talk about some sneak peeks and uh, maybe you can the... record us like me setting up my photos. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> we, we will definitely be doing some behind the scenes of uh, how Lisa sets stuff up and how you oh think it has to be perfect. And Lisa just does amazing, but it's because of her. She sure does. People. Yep. If so we don't us. have good counters in that hotel room, I'm going to be so we did it on the bed. You did it on the bed last them. time. Yeah, you did it on the bed last time. So we'll be fine. We'll figure it all out. We're going to have right. to have something nice. <laughs> well, so this is Who's Knows Best. It's just Cincy Consultants getting together and chit-chatting about life and our business and how we stay sane. We'll see you guys next week. <laughs> <laughs>